Now the search for the missing girls is still on and the national chairman of the PDP, Alhaji Adamu Mwazu, feels the Bornu state governor needs to do more in helping to locate those girls, especially since he's the chief security officer of the state. In an exclusive interview with Channels Television, Alhaji Mwazu shared his thoughts with us and he spoke with our correspondent Betty Debia in South Africa. It is a total blackmail for Governor Shatima to fly to London and begin to bamboozle from one press house to the other issues that are to do with our own internal governance. I want to assure you, he knows better that the Federal Ministry of Education has written and cited the need for the school in Chibok not to be the center of YEC exams this year for the apparent insecurity. But he and his government have decided that the school is properly secured. Hence, hence uh, the, the, the attack on the school. Secondly, YEC has also written to express their apprehension on citing the center at Chibok. Again, they were guaranteed of the safety of the students. But unfortunately, maybe the government and the center have not been able to give these reasons early enough. But it is a fact that they know both the Federal Minister of Education and WAIEC have expressed their apprehension about the security of those girls. Being as it is, the ball is in their court anyway. There's no way the parties can work together to get a solution. Instead of working for the interest of the Chibok girls, the Chibok girls have become kite and mouse game between the two parties. Say, Borno State trying to blame federal government. In the first instance, Governor Chetima knows he's the chief security officer of Borno State.